Come on, we, only have, we only have 4% left on this GoPro, so choose your words wisely. To me. Yeah. Welcome to St. Andrews, Ingeborg. <laughs> Make sure your eyes. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another vlog. Currently in Sydney, because we're racing here this weekend. So today is Thursday. Racing starts Friday. Arrive Wednesday. Got everything sort of like settled. Morning. Woke up. Had a sleep in. Got to film any of it because I had my exam at 10 a.m. So I was a little bit like locked in on that. So I forgot to film anything this far. But in Sydney, exam check. Very happy with that. Currently 1.30 p.m. So in a couple hours. We'll go for a little swim. Just went to one of the best sushi places, definitely in Sydney. Uh, I only had sushi one time in Sydney. That's a lie. So I've had sushi two places in Sydney. Both of them are amazing. We're staying in Parramatta and this one is called Kanso Sushi. Really good. So if you're ever in the area, you should definitely check that out. And this other sushi place, don't know where it's located, but it's only one of them. And it's this merge between sushi and tacos. I think it's called Tokyo Sushi. What is this place called? It's called Tokyo Taco and it's in Newtown. However, beautiful day. This is the view from the room. Very good. So yeah, excited to take you guys along for a weekend of racing in Sydney. Getting organized to go for a little swim. We're just gonna go to a pool that's like a couple minutes away from the hotel. <laughs> Isaac Cooper, newest world champion on 50 backstroke. What do you do the day before racing? Um, I don't know, mostly get some food, shave down, listen to some good music. Mostly it's just waiting for the next day. I love racing. Good answer. I'm boring the day before, the day after. That's really exciting. <laughs> what well, about you, Dylan? What's your pre race routine the day before a competition? Pre race routine. Pre race, I always watch Silvioli highlights. There's a three minute YouTube video of Silvioli highlights, an AFL player. I watch that every time. Pre race, right. pre big race, that's my thing. It's about 7 a.m. I could have slept into 8, but yeah, I didn't. So that's a little bit disappointing, but whatever. It just means I have time for a longer breakfast and chill in bed, so it worked out pretty well. 200 back stroke today. It goes day one, two back, day two, 100 back, and day three, 50 back. I'm excited for today. Breakfast in bed, pretty good. And what we have today is bowl of oats with a questionable amount of peanut butter, which has been my standard breakfast for the last, I think, couple months. Should get me going for the day. ready to leave for finals. Went hits this morning, came back, had lunch, and then a nap, woke back up, watched a show, and had a snack. Yeah, not much else to update about. I feel like race days are pretty, <laughs> pretty boring in that sense. Like, you don't really do much, or at least I don't really do anything in between heats and final. Normally I probably would have a bit of study or something to do in between but since I did my exam yesterday I actually have two weeks off so just trying to find things to fill my time with but yeah it's been good watching Nargis Tafta stuff so far so that's getting me through and yeah very excited to swim again this evening join back let's go
on my way to the airport right now. As you can tell, it was a bit hard vlogging during racing because I just kept forgetting to put my camera up or to even bring my camera up. And when I did remember to put up the camera, it was stuff I already filmed before and what really do you get of me eating oats and raspberry for the fourth time. It's been good having a weekend of racing. You always get really honest answer as to where you are in training and what needs to be done moving forward so that's very exciting and motivating so thank you so much for watching i am sure i'll see you guys in the next video whatever that brings bye